my God, Jeepers Creepers. Jesus, Mary and Joseph, I just went shopping and I got, oops, I got a little snack. This is, wait, we have to put this over here. Oh my gosh, hi. Hey guys, I just went shopping, I got a little snack. Ooh. If, the only th if there's one thing that can save my marriage, it will be Cheesecake Factory. Literally, Cheesecake Factory is saving my marriage right now. Oh my gosh, you can't even see me. There's so much food. Oh, I don't know why they gave me this much. I'm calling corporate. <laughs> you guys, happy New Year's Eve. Oh, I'm out of breath. I'm having to carry. This is very hard work having to carry so much expensive food. This holiday season, come treat yourself and join my Patreon. You'll get tons of mukbangs and other content not allowed on YouTube. It makes a great Christmas present. Must be age 18 or older. Link below. Oh, whatever will I do. Seriously, this is a lot of work. I'm like, okay, over here, first world problems. And parking is crazy sometimes. And I'm just like, oh. Anyways, but I got this. Yeah, I actually drove to get this because I like to check if I remember. I don't like, I know it says DoorDash over here. I didn't use DoorDash. I mean, I have before. And guess what? Sometimes they forget to check. Even though they're supposed to check, you guys. Anyways, today I'm doing, guess what? Cheesecake Factory for the New Year's. I'm so excited. So, so, so excited. Oh. My Invisalign, you know, I just want to sue every dentist on planet Earth. They took my attachments off too soon. Please comment down below and give me some peace of mind. If you ever did the Invisalign treatment, how many weeks did you leave on your final set of tray for? Because I was on a system where I changed every seven days, right? Well, they messed up. They gave me the wrong tray. They basically gave me one tray ahead of time. So I was basically on tray 13 and 14, right? 13 and 14 were the last two and then I was done the program. They put number 14 in my mouth before 13. I woke up in excruciating pain the next day. And they're like, oh yeah, you went two sets too, too much. Go back to 13 and then do 14. Well, that delayed a day or two. So anyways, I took it out. I was excruciating pain. This was like last month. And then I put in 13 or for a week and then I did 14 and boom, they still scheduled me to take off all the little attachments. Um, they took up, scheduled me to take up all the attachments on the day, assuming I would have done seven and seven, seven days and seven days, you know, one week each, but they effed up, they gave me the wrong tray. So I did basically, you know, eight or nine days in five days or six days. So I only had my final tray on for six days, maybe five days, five full days. And they scheduled me, they took off all the attachments and the teeth are not done. And they said, well, just, they took off all the attachments. You're like, well, just wear your final tray for like a month and then we'll decide if you need refinements or we'll give you your thing. Well, every time I take this off, this tooth starts dancing. This tooth right here, it starts moving. And I have, I just put it back in, which is why I have a lisp. I have it in here and um, it feels tight. It feels like it's doing something. But if I take it out, things start moving and relaxing. I need to know if there's any dentists or hygienists watching. Please, I'm actually very serious. I'm so sick of talking about this in every freaking video. My teeth, my teeth, my teeth. Will it be okay? Because I need a second opinion. I don't feel like paying you know, $200 to see a random dentist for him to be like, yeah, you're fine. I don't know. Will I be okay having my final try in without the attachments? They took off the attachments a little too soon. Or in their eyes, it was perfectly fine, I'm sure, because they have done this for years, you'd think. And the, the um, assistant, it wasn't a hygienist, it was an assistant, and she didn't know what she was doing. Like, she seems, she was totally out of it. I was telling her more about Invisalign than she even knew, and that really upset me, because I am the paying client. You know, this is not my field of expertise. If you don't know, don't expect me to know. I was literally giving her orders, like, well, this isn't here, well, this isn't here, well, this And then she'd be like, well, it looks fine to me. I'm like, I don't care if it looks fine to you. My molars probably look fine to you too, and they were not aligning either. Like, it's not even just about aesthetics, it's about the, the clench, it's about the jaw snap, it's about aligning things, it's about the bite and the grip. Like, shut up, you're a dental assistant and you don't even know? So, will I be okay, or do I have to literally do my refinements to make sure this tooth starts moving? But li literally, let me tell you the truth, if I take this out, the teeth are straight, almost perfectly. This one, I feel like it can move like a millimeter, and then it's done. But when I take it out, it starts shifting back to where it was. Like, it wants to turn back around. It was one, it was one of those tooth that had to, like, turn 360 or 180. It was like, oops. I imagine, like, a revolving door. I watch a lot of YouTube videos about this, and they said, and at the end, attachments, a little button, revolving door. Not only are you doing this, but you're pushing this way so it can swing. If you're just pushing this way, it's harder to push it. It'll still do it, but the attachment does the opposite. It helps you swing the tooth. Isn't that a good analogy? A revolving door. This tooth was a revolving door. It, it used to be like this, now it's like this, okay? 
So I just feel like it wants to go back to where it knows it's home. I have this in, it's fine. But I've had, now it's been two and a half weeks and it's still not finished. So I don't know if it needed the attachment or, hey, I would have left the attachments on and say I would have done two weeks for the final tray rather than five days. I still would need refinements anyway because it's a problematic tooth. So I just want to know if I'm okay, if I'm over. For me, I'm very sensitive to pain and discomfort and it just, it feels so tight. Anyways. Hot and steamy, complaining Cotto, Nikocado. So we got some beans. These are buttered beans. <gasps> Cheesecake Factory. You guys know this is gonna cheer me up. I was having such a, I'm having such a rave about my teeth. It makes me so upset. I'm sick of talking about my teeth. I'm sick of it. I has, I have a lisp with these stupid trays, and I can't wait for this to be over. You guys, this has ruined my life. Braces. I almost prefer braces. It stays in. There's no in and out, in and out. Oh, they're taking this. They're just, it's less room for error, right? I don't even know. I'm just angry. So these are my fried zucchinis. Mmm. This better cheer me up and it better save my marriage. This <gasps> breakfast burrito. This is one of my favorite things. Oh, it's still hot. Good. It's literally freaking hot. You guys, my hands are so dry. It's getting so dry in Florida. I hate dry weather. I actually prefer humidity, but just cold humidity. Uh, here's all the toppings for the burrito. We got some sour cream. You guys, my favorite thing. Shout out to Hungry Fat Chick. She could not get this at Cheesecake Factory. These are mac and cheese balls. They're the best appetizer you can get. And I ordered three. So there's four in each. They're expensive. And I got my pretzel balls. Eee. Ooh, condensation from the heat. This list is out of control. Excuse me. Ah, cheapers, creepers. Um, I got my four cheese pasta number one. Four cheese pasta number two. I got two orders of that. Of course, they're upside down. Again, the bags are not right. They gave me two extra branches because I stood there and asked for them. I said, can I please have extra branches? They said, yes. They gave me lots of utensils, which it's only for one person. <laughs> Actually, my husband will join me. We're gonna get along this video. Yesterday he was so cruel. This, I think once we're eating this, we're gonna get along. Even though I can't stand looking at him. All right, so these are the mac and cheese balls, uh, number two or three. Mac and cheese balls number three. Okay, that's number two, number three. And uh, mac and cheese balls number, oh, did I order four? Oh no, these are the fried cheese. Oh. And then you can't go to Cheesecake Factory with the, oh, ouch. These pasta stay very hot. Same with the burrito, because there's probably like moisture from the sauce. Uh, you know, what's that rule? It's harder for things to cool down if it's made of liquid, like the ocean can't cool down very quickly, like the air, because water is dense. I'm scientific, and I have a list because I have a misline. Um, My buffalo blasts, which I love these buffalo blasts. They're like the best. I got some bread. Did they not give me butter? Did I not get butter? That's all the bread I got? I should have asked for more bread. That is, that is pitiful. And I didn't get any butter. I didn't check for the butter. I assumed you would. There's no butter. I'm gonna starve. And I got a cheesecake, which better not have been toppled over. Cheesecake, oh, we got the Godiva, Godiva, Godiva. Orlin, Orlin picked it out. I, let, I said, pick out a cheese. He's like, I've never tried Godiva chocolate, so we're gonna try Godiva. Godiva, Godiva. I'm such a diva. Listen, I'm kind of mad I didn't get my butter. I mean, this is fatty enough, but like, <sighs> really? Cheesecake, and they only give me a small little, like all these on, all these entrees, and I get one freaking roll. I mean, I could have asked for them. They would have done it. I just didn't. Is this enough food? Sheepers, creepers, Sh fiddlesticks. I'm very upset and I still have a little lisp. Ah, oh, these stupid Invisaligns. I just want this to be over. <laughs> I mean, my teeth are getting better, but still, I'm just like, I'm, it's discomfort. Why is the last set so discomfort? And why am I having so much lisps? Is it because it's because it's loose? It doesn't feel loose. It feels tight. I just, I hope it's still working. Please give me some rest of assurance. Hygienists, dental assistants, hopefully you're better than the girl at my dentist's office. 
Actually, I love my dentist's office. I love my dentist. And I love... The receptionists are fine. And um, the, the... I love the hygienists. But the dental assistants... I mean, I guess one of them's okay. The other one's okay. But then there's two that are like, you've, you, you've got to go. You've got to go. You, you, you're a little too clueless here. You, you don't know what you're doing. And you're literally making me talk about it a week later on my YouTube channel. Sheepers, ah. creepers. All this stress. First world problems, I know. I know, but it's still a problem. First world problems are still problems. First world problems are still problems. So don't undermine my sadness. Just because it's a different world or ranking or class. I don't care. It's still a problem. I don't like when people say, well, it's a first world problem here. I'm grateful. Excuse me. And so you think if you're in the first world that you don't need to worry about your problems now? Well, guess what? If you don't worry about the problems, you'll, you'll, you'll sink your way back down to the third world. You always have to be diligent and do your job right and be aware and be mindful and observant no matter what world you're in. Or you're going to have a bad life. So I hate when people say it to me, oh, you're such first world. I don't care. I grew up in the third world. I lived in Colombia. I lived in, all over the place. All right. I know stuff. I know what I'm talking about. So anyways, let me get this set up. Let me make this all really pretty. Hopefully I feel better after eating this. And we're gonna go out with a bang for 2020. 2020 has been the worst year of my life. Here we go. One, two, three. Bam, 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 I don't bam. know. Hi. Bam, bam. <gasps> <laughs> this will save our marriage. Nothing's gonna save that. This will save. This will. Oh, if we had to pick one restaurant to save our marriage, wouldn't it be Cheesecake? Cheesecake Factory and Counseling might do it. Counseling? Arlen, stop. We're having a nice video. <clears throat> 2020 has been the worst year on planet Earth. The worst year for me. What about you? I gained 100 pounds, so it was not a good year. I lost two because it's water. You guys, we are having Cheesecake Factory as you saw in my little intro. I'm so excited. Let's just get into this. We're, we have a lot to try, so make sure you stick around while we try it. Well, mm. You gotta start with the vegetable. Oh, okay, and we also have some cheesecake, so don't forget to watch us do the grand finale. This we've never had before. It's called the Godiva. There you go. Oh, we have to start with this. Yeah. Orlin. There's no pizza, so I have to get other vegetables. Oh, yeah, because pizza is a vegetable, so it's Michelle Obama. Ooh. <gasps> you know, this is related to cilantro. Mm, that ranch is good. It's like a... Mm. I asked for extra ranch and they gave it to me. Mm. Oh, there's vegetables down here. Oh, pizza. Oh. This here is the toppings for the burrito. So we're just going to eat all, all the plates. Yeah, we should. Mm. And there's cheeses. Oh, here we go. I'm trying to get everything. I'm going to wear my hand go. Have you ever like put your hand in a dark box? Then to pull things here. <laughs> that makes no <laughs> sense. Okay. Mm. I got extra ranch. And this is some kind of sauce. All right. And then. Wow. Salad with this ranch is delicious. Mm. It's a vegetable. We didn't get any butter, but that's okay. We will survive. Cheers. Happy New Year. Cheers. Oh, ooh, let's do our vitamins. What do you want to try for? Oh, like probiotic. That. We're going to start our meal with probiotics. And that. <laughs> Appetizer. <laughs> Be ready for this dairy. Mm. Okay. Can so I take vitamins? Funny, you always say I do. Yeah, you do. You go like this. I want to do a mac and cheese ball. These are our favorites. Oh yes, I'm excited for these. <laughs> yeah, we literally basically just got only these things. And they can go in these vodka sauces. Ooh, there's a hair in here. Ugh. Ugh. Let's pretend that didn't happen. That's just protein, though. Here, here's your vodka sauce. Vodka. I oh. Well, they call it vodka sauce. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Our marriage is saved. It's really good. Mm. <laughs> I haven't eaten all day. I have, I have nothing to eat all day. Hungry fat chick. Mm. This is what you missed out on. Candy, can you please eat this for me? Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Mm. Mm. <laughs> mm. Flaky. Mm. These are so good. 
Look how many I ordered. So you get four for an order. <clears throat> I ordered three orders, so we have 12. Wait, four, eight, 12, yeah. <laughs> I'm really done. I could do a mukbang of just those. Mm. What's up? Are they breaded and fried or? So good. Deep fried. Whoever mm. came up with that is a, is a genius. Here are the soft pretzels, and the soft pretzels come with this uh, liquid cheese. Mm. Ooh. Ooh, it's warm. Oh, it's Ooh. very cheesy. You try. Oh. This looks like the cheese I make. Well, except for me, would you? Mm. 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 I love pretzels. These are good. Mm. The holidays are here and 2020 has been rough. So I'm gonna make you a personalized eight minute long video on Cameo. Treat yourself or surprise someone else. It makes a great Christmas present. Link below. See, I never mm. liked pretzels growing up. Well, now you're all grown up. Yeah, I grew, <laughs> I grew sideways. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. I'm so happy now. <laughs> I was so angry about my teeth. The people will comment if I'll be okay. Or what I, what I should do. Have you told them about how yeah. they're getting crooked again? Mm-hmm. <laughs> that was a waste of money. Uh, no, because I do like the result, mostly. Mm -hmm. Okay, now we have zucchini and we have fried cheese. Mm, 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 mm. I love Jay's Cake Factory. Mm. Everything is made with care. <clears throat> they put a lot of thought into the flavors. Ooh, another hair. Right here. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Mm. I'm so hungry that I just don't care. The hair's extra. Here, let's do the fried cheese. <laughs> as I'm saying, they've made it with care as they put their hair into it. Well, they know that we just stopped our vegan diet and Ooh. we need the protein. Fried cheese. Mm. Ooh. What do you dip this in? Anything. Mmm. That's marinara sauce. Mm -hmm. Oh, they gave it like a... Mm. What kind of sauce? Mmm. Mm -mm. It's this sauce, I think. Mmm. Mm -mm. mm. Oh no, this is a mustard for the buffalo. Ooh. I love these. These are the best. What are these wings? These are the buffalo blasts. Remember them? I have I have bad memory for this stuff. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, it's like breaded chicken. Breaded chicken, but like. Oh. Um, 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 um. You just don't get this type of quality anywhere else. <laughs> At least that we've had. Zucchini, here's a vegetable. Second empanada. I'm gonna go for two. Mmm. I love the fried zucchini. Have you tried these yet? Mm -mm. Oh my god, try. Mm. Mm. Oh, that's good. I know. It's the only way you eat zucchinis. <laughs> if you made this for me every day, I'd be so happy. Mm. Oops. Mm. These are actually really good. Mm. And I typically don't like cooked zucchini. I love those. Look at all this cheese coming out. Mm. Oh my god. Their fried cheese is so soft. Mm. Everything is good. Even the celery was good. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, that's the one that's coming out, don't you? Thank you, sir. Right. Oh, you have your own vodka. Oh, yeah. I'll put an extra here for you. Mm hmm. This might just save our marriage. It saved it already. Mm -hmm. And now we have to get into the pastas. Oh my god. Mm. Hungry fat chick, please try this for me. I love watching her eat. People ask me who my favorite mukbanger is. I always like, <clears throat> I never, I usually never give an answer because truthfully I barely watch anybody. I'm so busy with my own videos. I'm your favorite mukbanger. Huh? Oh, no, you're not. 
Mm. <laughs> but if I had to choose, it would be a hungry fat chip. If I had to, but I love everybody pretty much. <clears throat> My vision's blurring. My body's like, ooh. Mm. Mm. Okay, we go with the appetizers, one into the pastas. Ooh. These are appetizers? Yeah, these oh. are all appetizers. Mm. Wait, more zucchini. <laughs> <laughs> the vegetables. It's technically a fruit. Have you tried the celery? I think you have. I try more. It's okay. The top rated celery. The best celery you can get. Looks good. The best of the best. Oh wait, there should be like blue cheese. Oh yeah. I think that was blue cheese or not. Yes. No. This is for the Baja Blasts. Mm. It's thicker. I don't know what it is. Let's see. Let me try a little bit one. Is it the same as, is it all the same? No. Oh. It's different. That's blue cheese. Yeah, it's blue cheese. Look at the chicken coming Ooh. out. So this is what it looks like on the inside. Oh. Oh, now that's good. Mmm. That is some good blue cheese. Mmm. Mm. Mm. You know, normally I don't like blue mm. cheese. It's too mm -hmm. sour. Mmm. Mm-mm-mm. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. <laughs> so that seasoned chicken on the inside. It's oh. so good. <clears throat> Try this thing. What's this? Mustard? That's mustard. That's not too good. I think that's supposed to go with the um oh. the pretzels. People like yeah. mustard. pretzel and mustard. <clears throat> I've never liked mustard. Ooh. You try their mustard. Mm. Mm. Ooh. Mm. You like mustard? Mm hmm. It's sharp. Oh, what's under here? Oh, it's more sauce. Mm hmm. Is that marinara? Oh, this is the buffalo sauce. Oh. It's for the buffalo blasts. Mmm. Try the blast in there. I'm on cloud nine with this meal. Let's see. <sighs> Look at this cheese. I need to stop showing you guys stuff. You get the point. <laughs> oh. Oh my. It's spicy, right? <clears throat> it's more than that. Try it. Try it. I don't finish my fry. Mm. Oh. Oh, that's intense. It's like vinegary. It's supposed to be spicy, but they give you lots of options, which I like. Beyond spicy, it has vinegar. It's like apple cider. Oh, it's like hot sauce. Oh. No, it's like apple cider. Yeah. With spice. Mm -hmm. It's weird. Oh. Yeah, I'm not into that. But these are perfect on their own. Those, those are perfect. And they give you blue cheese, too. Yeah. So. And they're very nice about giving you extra sauce. Like, I could have been like, I want more blue cheese, please. Mm. Yeah, they were nice. They even gave us some hairs. <laughs> they gave us some hairs, too. Mm -hmm. They know I need some. <laughs> Aww. But you know I like bald men. Well, we're both balding. Yeah! I'm so weird, you guys. I'm losing a little hair in the back. I'm freaking out, and Oren's like, but I thought you just said you like bald men. I'm like, yeah, for others. <laughs> <laughs> Same with being chubby. Like sometimes I'm like, I hate how I look. And Orland's like, okay, every time I catch you looking at other people <clears throat> and other things, getting it on, you're always looking at these chubby, 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 chubby boys. I'm like, yeah, I like them on others. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, excuse me. Let's get into these pastas. I know people are waiting. Thank you for waiting. Mm. So this here is the fed. Ooh. Mm. Take this out. Fettuccine Alfredo. Ooh. <clears throat> now their fettuccine Alfredo is very, very creamy and chewy and just, it's the best. Oh, let me tell you something that's really funny. <clears throat> so I thought I was being smart by saving a little money because they have a lunch menu where it's like a couple dollars cheaper. So normally this fettuccine Alfredo is $18. Mm. 
I don't know. Well, on the lunch menu, it's like $12.99 or something. It's like $13. I'm like, oh, I just saved $3, $4 for the pasta and the other two pastas. So that's what I did. But I'm looking at it, and I think it's slightly smaller size than the dinner. Because lunch, you're supposed to eat a little lighter. Or, is, or do you think that's the Some same? Some people don't get the memo. Do you think that's the same size? It looks like the same size. Maybe it is the same size. Maybe I'm going crazy. I think so. <clears throat> Is it good? <laughs> I love you. Oh, I love you sometimes. So much. <laughs> Can I have a fork, please? Yeah. Thank oh yeah, you. let me give you your, so you get a spoon and you get a knife, because we're about to get into this burrito. Or then, baby. Put it on that. Oh. Mm. What's this uh, fettuccine Alfredo? Fettuccine Alfredo. You're supposed to use a spoon for this, right? Like, I think. Let's see. You put a spoon here, right? You go like that? Mm hmm. To keep it organized and neat. It makes very so bad noises, though. So you're eating politely in front of others. Well, there's no way to eat this politely. <clears throat> Just bite it off. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Ooh. Mm hmm. Mmm. Mmm. I know. They have the best. Olive Garden can't even. I taste seafood. Seafood? Try it. No. Mm hmm. I taste seafood. Not in a bad way, in a good way. Yeah, there's something seafoody. Like shrimp or something. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, slight shrimp flavor. Right? <clears throat> now that you point it out, yeah. But yeah. I almost feel like it's always like it's their type of cream. That Maybe it's is. like fish sauce or something? <laughs> no, I don't think they add fish sauce. It's good know. though. I like it. Yeah, it's very good. Oh, I just lost it all. <laughs> it's very good. Mm, it's so good. It's delicious. I know they're freaking out. Like, I oh. like that it's not super salty. Because sometimes you get food and it's too salty. Yeah, they don't over salt their food here. Mm -hmm. They add enough, but they don't add too much. Mm -hmm. Like, um, <clears throat> what's something I love that's like checkers. Checkers would really taste oh my good. God. But then you're halfway through the meal, you're like, Ugh, it's too much salt. Mm -hmm. Or, um, Little Caesars. Oh, uh, Little Caesars. Way too much salt. Even their sauces are too salty. Do you think their pizza's too salty? Yeah. Oh, really? Oh. Mm-hmm. Yeah, maybe, yeah. Mm. Mm. I can't stop eating this. This is too good. All right, let's try the other pastas. <laughs> let's get this one in the front. Ooh. <clears throat> this is too good. Too good to be true. Mm. Because we know it's true. Can you get that? I can't get that. Yeah. Mm. Just scoop. Oh, it's not the easiest thing in the world. There you go. And then I'll put this down here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> get a look at the burrito. The which burrito. Is I'm excited way. for that. Oh, that's going to be the grand finale. All right, so you try this first. Okay. Well, yeah, I got one for you, too. Just switch the oh. burrito with that. Yeah. Oh, I see. I, I, got I, was you oh. I was wondering if it's the same thing. Yeah, it's the same. Oh. It's my favorite four cheese pasta. <clears throat> oh, I right. kind of regret already not getting that. Remember, it was like a basil cherry tomato spaghetti. That was good. Remember? And I was shocked by how much I... Because I'm not a spaghetti person. I've never really been. Feels a little like cooked tomatoes. Yeah, cooked tomatoes really... And I'm sure I got the worst, like, pains and feelings and everything, but... One thing about Cheesecake Factory and Italian restaurants, for some reason, um, is that when we eat them, we both cannot fall asleep. We just can't do it. We toss and turn. Our bodies are very upset with us. Yeah, and I feel so warm. It's a very interesting feeling. Where's my fork? It's, uh, do you it's know? It's right here. No, I keep looking for it. Where is your fork? Where? Oh, there. <laughs> <clears throat> Got it. Oh. Okay, so this is the four cheese pasta. It has four <laughs> cheeses. What are the four cheeses? Do you know? Do you know? I don't know, but it's like a penne noodle. 
Okay. That word. It's funny. Mmm. Oh mm. my god. Mmm. Oh my god. I love you. <laughs> it's so good. Is this yeah. sour cream or something? What is this? No, it's not sour cream. It's like whipped some kind of cream. It's not sour. It's cream. It's oh. cheese. It's cream, yeah. Oh. Mmm. It's a type of cheese. It's so good. It's really thick and creamy. Yeah, this is the thickest of all our meals so far. Wow, it's very, oh, very, very, very thick. Mmm. Mm. Ooh, dip this in that, the white thing. Huh? Oh, dip, oh. Dip it in the white thing. Oh, the white cheese? Yeah. I don't think I have I don't have, some. I don't have any left. Where's it? Here, here. Mm hmm Okay. It's a good combo. I like it. <laughs> I just love pretzels. I love how chewy and doughy they are. The more you chew it, it just softens in your mouth. Mmm. What flavor? Mmm. 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 <laughs> Let's do the burrito. <clears throat> mm-hmm. You're not even drinking water. Because <clears throat> it's not spicy. Hmm? Because the food's not spicy. Oh, you don't feel dry? No. Oh. I can try sometimes. <clears throat> All right, so we're making our way through. Oh, did I just splatter you? What's in your arm? I don't know. Is that rosacea? It could be stretch marks. No, right here. Look into the light. Put it like this and look at I don't have that. It's right here. All right here. Oh, I think it's just pimples. Yeah, people are always complimenting my skin. They're like, how does Nick have skin like that and eat like crap? Because all his pimples go to his back. <sighs> I don't have that many on my back. Uh-uh. You could make a constellation with them. Orlin, that's not true. I, I have a few, but not that many. It's like you're farming them. <laughs> it's really not that bad. It's like a farm down there. A farm, really? It's like you're growing them. <laughs> For harvest. In the farmer's market. Have a, what do you call it, a little, uh, little muscle and clam farm over here. <laughs> yeah. Sustainable farming. <laughs> Really? Well, you see my back more than I see. They kind of look like barnacles on your back. Ba Ew, barnacles. It's what's on a whale. Orlin. Well, if the shoe fits. <laughs> and that's, I'm very embarrassed. Well, I was trying to say, people compliment my skin. They're like, why is it so smooth? It doesn't have a single pimple or like pussy thing. Cause I eat a lot of like pussy stuff, really greasy. It's, it must be genetics or the fact that I drink one gallon of water a day. Well, that's something I've always stood by. I mean, I never tell people what to eat ever. I don't sell diets. I don't tell people. I just eat casually, like what I enjoy, and that's it. <clears throat> but something that I do stand by, which, I, again, I'm not telling people to do. But something that works for me is I drink a gallon of water a day. Now, that might not work for everyone. If you eat a low-sodium diet, if you have a gallon of water a day, you might flush out your electrolytes. If you don't have it, like, it, see what I mean? Like, it's very based on who you are. Okay, yeah, I know, yeah, see. I'm gonna try the salad. All right, this burrito, it's a breakfast burrito. It's made with egg. Mmm, it's good. This is a breakfast burrito? Or did I forget to I get the make omelet? Order. I, I think I should have ordered the omelet. That's what we like. Mm -hmm. No, so this is it. This looks like it's it. Mm. Well, we'll find out. So let's just cut into it. Is that Greek yogurt? That's for the burrito. This? That's sour cream for the burrito. Oh, really? Yeah, you're just eating the toppings. Oh! Oh, this is it, look. The meat, oh. Ooh, I love the egg. Oh, okay, they're, okay. I was like, what? Are you okay eating egg though? Nine out of 10 times if I eat eggs. Oh. I get it. A very bad out. Much eating yours is a special occasion. This must be that one out of ten times right here. Alright, so I don't know how the F to like do this. You just you just eat that. You go first. <clears throat> and right. here we can put a little I'm just gonna I'm just gonna wing it. Put a little plop in there for you. <laughs> yeah, you these are supposed to be put into it. So it has sausage, bacon, egg, 
vegetables, lots of cheese, guacamole, chunks of avocado. Mm. Is it really good? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Orlando and I got this once and we were shocked by how good And then we tried their regular burrito like on their dinner menu and it, it was like too much rice. Now, we were actually shocked because Cheesecake Factory tastes good with everything. But with the, that burrito, we were like, ew, this is actually, it's kind of like dry. Mm. But their breakfast burrito, it's like creamy with the eggs. Mm. It has a tortilla. All right, so mm. it looks crazy. Ooh. Wow. That's mm. good. That is really good. That's that's amazing. That's amazing. Mm. It's just so filling and savory and flavorful. I can't think of another way to eat the burrito, so please don't cut for me. Oh, uh, it has like tomato pesto on the bottom. See that? It's like crusted in there. Water. This is a great way to end 2020. Oh, I made this so messy. Please don't get mad at me, you guys. Thank you. Mm. Mm. Their breakfast burrito is so good. So many flavors and textures. <clears throat> I think I need Hungry Fat Chick to eat the mac and cheese balls and the breakfast burrito. Those two things, candy. The zucchini is really tasty though. <clears throat> the fried cheese is really Did I eat all the fried cheese? I ate all the fried cheese. Oh. There's a little uh, zucchinis left here. I love, this is really good. Mm. Oh, we ate all the fried cheese. That's okay. <clears throat> oh, oh, the fried cheese is right here. Oh my God. Here, okay, one for me, one for Orland. Yeah, I think <clears throat> if I didn't care, I would just grab this burrito and eat it like the burrito that it's supposed to be. So I leave for one moment and I come back to this. <laughs> um. <laughs> I was dripping, hold on. <laughs> okay. Isn't it so good? Mm -hmm. So how are you supposed to eat this getting messy? Just get messy with it. <clears throat> wait, 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 wait. I want you to have a little of this. Right there. Are you sure that's what you're supposed to do? Yes, it's for the burrito. Okay. They even gave us beans. Mm. It's one of their best items. Mm. Best. And they, they're, be I don't like beans, you guys. <clears throat> Actually, if I had to start doing a thing, like, I'm allergic to beans nine out of 10 times. I would do a bean, that would be my thing. Uh, nine out of 10 times I'm allergic to beans. I always say I'm allergic, I have a sensitivity. And, well, actually, unlike them, I actually don't, I try to really avoid the beets. <clears throat> well, then again, it's all j j the soy, black bean uh, noodles, the soy fermented. Beans are everywhere, but not out sometimes. <laughs> they have buttered beans. Have you tried their buttered beans? I'm trying them. Do you have a spoon? I do have a spoon. <clears throat> so the beans no, are, are supposed actually, to go with this too. I think you took my spoon. Really? Oh, no, it's right here. Yeah, this is mine. <clears throat> I don't like them. No? Mm -hmm. Good. Don't eat them because you. I'm very picky with beans, and I can. There's something I don't like about them. I don't know if it's pig. Oh, there's pig in there. I can taste it. No, black. these are black beans, Orlin. Black beans always had that. No, I've had black beans before. It tastes like medicine. Yeah, medicinal. Like pig, pig hoof. It tastes like cherry medicine without the cherry. Okay, goodbye. <laughs> no, that's not nice. That's oh, last time I had this, I was like, it's so buttery. No. 
No. I keep calling it buttered beans. I don't know what I'm talking about. No, it's like cherry cough drop pig Well, beans. good. It beans make... Okay, Orlin, really, someone who needs to say nine out of ten times he goes to the hospital. Cook beans... I've been sent to the hospital by them. Orlin literally went to the... They're going to think we're trolling now. Orlin did go to the hospital. <laughs> They're not going to believe us. <laughs> nine out of ten times he gets sick. He did go to the hospital from beans. <laughs> Good. I'm happy because I like you eating beans anyway. Alright, I'm gonna go for another one of the Oh, or then there's two fried cheese left. There's only two left. I just ate one. There's a fried cheese in there? Yeah. You just ate, okay then these two are for me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> these are for me. They're fried cheese with the vodka sauce. Mm. Ooh. I'm mm. just gonna eat this with the fork. It's too messy. Mm. Like, my hands are permanently red now. Mm. 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 Maybe they should put like. Excuse me. I was trying to hold it in I, because I read. You guys know I was on the antibiotics for like a week. Things come flying out. They we do took our pro, antibiotics. We took a probiotic today. You saw us on camera. But I just ordered them, so they just got here. <clears throat> I'm gonna start taking them every day. Yeah, I was actually holding it in because I didn't know if it would like come out on the seat, you know. Which has happened in my mukbangs. Let's change the subject. <clears throat> Anyways, hi Candy. Hungry fat chick, I told her. She needs to try the breakfast burrito. <laughs> so sorry, this is so gross. You would never do this to her. You wouldn't do this on her shares. <clears throat> she needs to try the mac and cheese balls, the breakfast burrito. And I forget if she had the fried cheese or the fried zucchinis, but oh, those zucchinis. I ate all of them, Orland. Oh wait, yeah, I ate all of them. Did you? Yeah. Oh. When you were gone, I had the last three. <laughs> and I love their fried cheese. Let's put this in half. No, you can have it. No, half and half. I'll feed you. Mm. I know! I like the pastas, but I feel like I, if I have two more bites, I'll be so full I won't be able to do anything else. The pastas are thick. Like this one of these. Huh? These are my favorites. Yeah, I'm gonna have another one. The pastas, like you take a bite and it's so good, but it's like cheesecake. The pastas remind you of cheesecake. It's so much fat and cream and cheese and grease. Like the pastas are really, really gonna fill you up. Both of them. Yeah. These true. types. They have little lighter ones that's like spaghetti with a little marinara sauce, whatever, but I don't like spaghetti. You guys know that. Even the Jolly Bee spaghetti I love, but if I had to choose, I'd rather Jolly Bee made. I'd rather try, try like ramen noodles from Jolly Bee than. I just, I'm not a spaghetti person. Oh. <laughs> wow, I feel full, but like very happy full. Like, mm -hmm. I'm doing something good for this new year. You guys, oh, uh, so I'm not staying up. It will I'll actually probably be up. I'm going to do a live stream on my Patreon for everybody. So if you want to join me tonight, if you're watching this at 1030, if you're watching this at like 11 p.m., sign up to my Patreon to help support my channel. The $8. So my live streams are usually for the top tiers, but... Ooh, I'm holding... No! I'm get up! Get out of the chair! No, I'm squeezing. I'm squeezing. Get out! Get squeezing. No! I'm squeezing. I'm squeezing. Oh. You are going to stop. Don't out. touch me. No, I'm fine. I probably should. Okay, I'll be right back with my announcement. Go. <laughs> Wait, if I laugh, it's going to come out. Go, come no, to my Patreon. Go, 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 Watch go. me do live stream tonight. I just won't drink the alcohol. Wait a minute. Ooh. Turn off the camera. Oh. This is what he does for me. This oh. is what he does to me. He's always doing this. He's always doing this. Okay, I'm back. Well. <laughs> Lots of fun. I ran to the bathroom. Everything's good. Everything's clean. I washed my hands, even though I just touched my hair. Um, I forget what I was saying. Oh my god, I'm so embarrassed. Yeah, so this year has been really crazy. I gained 100 pounds by accident. I don't know why. It's just water. I wonder why. Oh, let's do this cheesecake. Cheesecake! Ooh, yes. <laughs> I'm like, I gained 100 pounds. Oh, cheesecake. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Cheapers, creepers. Here, you can go on your side. Okay. Because I'm going to eat all of it. Well, that's kind of heavy. <sighs> it's a big old mouth. So that's the Godiva. Godiva. God oh. Godiva? I don't even know how to say it. Ooh, they even give you a little chocolate. Because that's Godiva chocolate. Ooh. 
<laughs> Portland's never had good out of the chocolate. No, I didn't even know what it was. I don't either. Clearly, I still don't know. Okay, let's see. Well, you should I, try. I'm very ignorant you should about it. try it first. I'm so first. full. These pastas, really, they're so creamy. So how do you eat this? Do you just cut it or something? Like, yeah. Well, you can use your fork. Really? Yeah. Is that okay? Yeah, you kind of just, where's my fork? Is that proper? You want, here, let's use clean forks. Oh, okay. I just clean mine. <laughs> you can use your fork, yeah. Where's my fork? Is it there? Here it is. Okay, I'll clean mine. I want you to try it. We have napkins right now. Yeah, do the napkin. Okay. I'm gonna go for this. <laughs> Godiva chocolate cheese. So cheesecake. much for full. <laughs> see, see, it just comes right off. Give it a little dab. <laughs> okay, your doctor said not too much of this. <laughs> it made me shrink, like I'm just kind of like shrunk in. I'm just like, oh. I know. <laughs> I know. You're kind of like, ooh. Oh. Mm. <laughs> no. It tastes, do you, do you know I really like it too? I love dark chocolate. I don't like Milky Way chocolate or like, like regular chocolate. The darker oh. the better. I love, the darker the chocolate the better. I've always loved dark, dark cacao, like cocoa butter. Oh. I, that's what it reminds me of. It's dark. Here, open up the little candy. I can't even. Open up that candy. Let's split that in half. Oh my goodness. Oh. Jesus, Mary and Joseph. Cheapers, creepers. Or then there's Phil. I thought you were about to eat that. I'm like, no, there's a wrapper on I, that. I was cleaning up the. Well, I don't know. You used to eat the, the f oh, excuse me, the rind, the cheese. I don't know. You have to edit out my curse word. <laughs> you can't curse on YouTube anymore if you want to get paid, I guess. But he's told me he used to eat the rind of the pizza he used to go to cheese and eat the rind all the time i thought it tasted good the plastic rind i thought that was the best part oh you were eating plastic okay yeah you still think that was the best part is it say yeah go dive it. here we go yeah mm. Mm -hmm. it's like the chocolates from colombia i like mm. the cheesecake more it's less sweet this is very sweet that's less sweet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's more like cheesy. Oh, look, it's cheesecake. <laughs> no, but there's chocolate in there. I can yeah. taste it. Like chocolate, like those chocolate chips. Moose. Oh, yeah. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm. I don't like, I don't like sweets. I don't like french fries. Mmm. <laughs> I give it. I feel very naughty. Mm. I feel very naughty. Like, oh, what did I just do? <laughs> I know. I'm not supposed to eat this. I know this. Fit, this should be illegal. Like, I'm. Like, I feel very naughty. Oh, it's so sweet. It's so good. That's sweeter than the chocolate bar. <laughs> yeah, it is. This was the best. Like, don't you feel complete now? We had like appetizers. I do. We had creamy pastas, we had a burrito, and we ended it with Godiva cheesecake. Oh, now I know why Candy shows that username. E. Ooh. Yes, Hungry Fat Chick Candy. Oh. I've said this a million times. I just want, I just, I love her, I really miss her, and I want to see her eat this again. <laughs> uh. Uh. Mm. Save stuff for me. Leave some for me, would you? No, I'm gonna eat some of this later. Look at my double chin, you guys. I'm gaining weight, and I don't know why. Also, cutting my hair <laughs> makes me look even chubbier. It's crazy. I, I look like a freaking mouse. I'm like, -choo -choo -choo. I can't even. I look like a mouse. Do I look like a mouse? A very fat one. A fat chubby mouse that ate all the cheese. No, you look like a beaver. A fat beaver that ate all the cheese, literally. <laughs> I look so chubby. I mean a guinea pig. See, Orla looks good with weight on him, I must say. And I'm not saying this just for the camera. Well, 
actually, I say you were so on camera. I think you, I don't know if it's because you're Latino, I don't know if it's because the way you're built with your your jawline, your muscles. He actually has muscles, unlike me. Orlin weighs basically the same as me, and he looks way better. I look... Well, all my weight goes to my chest. All his weight goes to his chin. My chin, I know. <laughs> it's like 20 pounds of fat in there. <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> well, I hope. Okay, I'm. I just, I'm just gonna eat all this off camera. Like, I, I can't. All I think about is this. This is bad. This is a good thing we never got into sweets. Yeah, I would have diabetes right now. Uh, yeah, you would. Uh, no, seriously. If I, if I ate no sugar, if I had soda, if I ate, look, make sure you save some. You're you can have that, but save the last part for You're me. You're on a diet. Save the last part for me. At least for me. Oh, yeah. this was expensive. This cost $175. $175. What? Mm -hmm. <coughs> yeah. I mean, the pasta. Well, this is the cheap pasta. This was only like $13 or $14. Usually it's $18. So, Bill, with tax, you pay $20 for one plate. Each round of uh, these pretz these uh, mac and cheese balls are $13 or $14 for four. For four of them, it's thirteen dollars for four mac and cheese balls. I ordered twelve of them, mm. so you know, add it, add it up. Boom, there's thirty-five dollars. You know, we have all these things here. That's okay. This twenty twenty, this really cheered me up. It saved our marriage, didn't it? You're, I'm, you're saving some for me. If we ever get married again, that's gonna be our cake. You want Godiva cheesecake? Yeah, or my next husband. I'll definitely use that cake. Mmm, it's so good. Don't start, Orlin. Um, mm. <clears throat> 2020. All I can say is, it was the worst year of my life. I had so many problems mentally, physically, um, emotionally. Uh, people online really hated me for a bit. They still kind of do. I made a couple mistakes. I got lied on. I mean, there's so much that happened this year. <clears throat> I cut my hair wrong, I stubbed my toe, I crapped the bed. I, you know, bought a new house and then it fell down. I mean, there's so much that happened. If we really think back, oh, Orlin cheated. I got with Jasper, I got pregnant. The, you know, the baby popped out. It was still not mine. Jasper, I mean, Nancy came involved with our marriage. I'm, you know, boom, $20,000 to Nancy over the course of 2020. Um, it's been a hard year. I'm thinking back to everything. Um, you lost two pounds. I lost two pounds, and then I gained a hundred. I've gained a hundred pounds this year. <laughs> LBs. A hundred LBs. I've gained a hundred. Here comes the fire truck to rescue me from this place. Get me down. Uh, thank God we have an elevator. I would be so screwed. Oh, oh. I stopped using my treadmill. I haven't done my treadmill for like three three months. That doesn't surprise anyone. Well, if I do it, it, it makes me feel very uncomfortable. I, I swell. I feel less swollen if I don't do the treadmill. Let's hope we have a new year I bought of a not blaming your weight gain on swelling and water. But it is water, mostly. It's mostly water. Uh, what are you, a water balloon? I created a Patreon account. I did a bunch of cameos. I made videos for people. Um, I had a couple sponsorships. I have another one coming up uh, for February or March. Hopefully. We had a couple Pleasure. of breakups. We had a couple breakups. I mean, I'm just thinking back to this year. Actually, wait, I should get my computer. Just look at all my thumbnails. It'll tell me what happened this year. You threw cabbage at my head. You need that. We did the nuke. We did the uh, volcano fire noodles. We did not need that. I ate a lot of cheese. It shows. I went to the drive-throughs and had managers yell at me. I got, you know, things taken back through the window during, you know, pandemic year. I had lots of problems at the drive-throughs. You lost your hair. Oh yeah, I'm balding in the back. You There's broke a lot. Our bed. I broke the bed. <laughs> I broke the bed by accident from my weight. 
and we've gone through a thousand dollars worth of sheets. Was that your first furniture you broke? I've never broken a furniture. <laughs> I've never. Or lid. I've never broken a furniture. Why would you say that? I've never broken a furniture. Um, I ate a lot of ramen. I got canceled. A couple times. Many times. Now, Did I, I cancel you though? No. No, I canceled myself because I said, I, again, I know his name now, Kobe Bryant. I didn't know his name and I was genuinely serious in the video. And I tried to spin it off by like coming up with funny names, but people got very upset by it because they were very upset by his passing. So I got canceled for that because I made a joke at us not knowing, which it would have been one thing if I'd just been like, oh, I forget his name, rest in peace. But I was just like, what was his name? Kathy, Casey, Catherine? People are like, his name's not Catherine, you know? But they, I mean? they do know that you're just stupid. Oh, I am stupid, but I played even stupid. you have a low IQ. I do have low IQ, but I played even low iq -er. Can you go lower? Yeah, I could, and I did, and it's I got like canceled. Limbo? And I got canceled. How low can you go? You can go <clears> so I lost like three thousand. I lost like three thousand subscribers. You gained weight. I gained weight. <sighs> yeah. <clears throat> this was my worst year ever. I've had a good year. <sighs> That's your phone. Someone's calling. It's Enrique. Shh. No funny business. Who's that? You. I'm gonna have a great year. I hope twenty. I hope in twenty twenty one that. Um, and you lose another two pounds. Another two pounds would be just fantastic. Actually, I'd be thrilled to lose another ten pounds. Two. Oh. Ten. Oh, Gotta two. be realistic with your goals. <laughs> two. Did I say ten? Two. Two, yeah. Two pounds. You're going through ten journals. <laughs> right. I also hope that I get my own TV shows. It's been a dream of mine. And I feel like I'm um, very close. I've had people pitch me. And I'm a, I have a shopping agreement right now with a new production company. So basically that means they pitch uh, an idea of the concept of Nikocado Avocado. And they pitch it to... Well, we're looking at VH1, MBTV, uh, TLC. <laughs> and really, it's not, it doesn't matter how funny or talented or crazy or whatever dramatic I am, there's thousands of people pitching at the same time. And a, a TV station has to pick one out of like, you know, 500 new pitches. So it's very slim, like, it's very competitive. So, I, But that would be a dream of mine, you know, to get on TV. Do something funny like that. Lose some weight. Ugh, go see Dr. Oz. <sighs> Oh, urgently. It's a medical emergency. Go, go talk to Oprah. Oprah? She doesn't want to talk to you. I keep crapping the bed. <laughs> she does not want to talk to you. What? She does not want to talk to you. Oh, uh, that's okay. I like Oprah. You got blocked by Meghan McCain. Oh, got blocked by Meghan McCain. Did you get blocked by, blocked by Michelle Obama yet? No, I don't tweet. I don't tweet anymore. No. I said something to Meghan McCain. I was along the lines of like, because she, okay. Sometimes I agree with her, actually, and sometimes I don't. And it wasn't even about political views, it was her attitude. And it's one thing to be like a troll on YouTube, to be a character for entertainment or whatever. It's another thing if you're on, you're a commentator about very serious things that affect people's lives, like politics, you know, policies that affect people's lives. And it was her attitude, not, not even so much of what she was saying, it was her, her attitude about it. And I called her out on her attitude or something. Oh, because she kept blaming everything on, well, whatever. She blocked me for saying something sassy like uh, you know i don't even remember because you're such a shiny be shining beacon <laughs> <laughs> but you missed the first part i should be held to the same standard as a political commentator i'm a youtube entertain this is tv this is entertainment why am i held to the standard of a commentator who has to abide by corporate you know policies and their their vision and they have to dress up and you know speak well i mean i'm not in the same field they well, are held above to a higher standard than me well, people are coming for me because I said you were you were born in a cabbage patch. Also, mm -hmm. they come for you for anything. Yeah, what's that have to do with Meghan McCain? I don't know. Okay. Well, goodbye. Thank you. I hope twenty twenty one is a better year for all of us. I would love to collab again. You know, I collabed once right before things got really bad in this country or around the no world. No one wants to collab with you. Or than a lot of people have. Stop it. Stop coming up with funny business. We're not doing any... F We're about to say goodbye. No trolling right now. There's a lot of people who have asked me. A lot of people. Who literally were like, Nick, I'm going to come see you in Orlando. I'll film with you in Florida. 
And I'm like, no, I, I don't want to see anybody until this whole thing kind of dies down. So, you know, I only did one with uh, Chelsea Lynn, which was great, but I want to do more because they're fun. Maybe 2021 we'll do that and maybe I'll lose two pounds and maybe we'll still be married. Yay! I hope you guys have a great New Year's. Like I said, follow me on Patreon tonight if you want to hang out with me while the ball drops. And, um... Are you going to a pool? Huh? Are you jumping off a pool today? <laughs> oh, I'm the dropping ball. <laughs> into the water. Into a bowl of water. If, uh, there's... Drop it into a bowl of water. You'll probably absorb it like a sponge. I know. Yeah. Ugh, I feel so full and good. I'm just thinking about that that cheesecake and about how I'm gonna take it. Shh, no, eat eat the pasta or something. No, no, no. I taste this. I taste the sugar. Can't be helped now. <laughs> <laughs> we never do sweets. Also, I got lied on a lot this year. I must say, I know I'm a troll. I know I do funny things. I know I'm a character. Also, I've made mistakes, you know, and I've owned up to a lot of different things over the like the Kobe Bryant thing, or the <laughs> David Dobrik, which is totally just trolling. Like he took my DNA. It's, it's not even serious. But people have really twisted things about me this year, and I really haven't appreciated that. Um, to be way worse, like just so over the top, over nothing, over nothing. It's true. I mean, every week there's a new video about me. Nick is this, Nick is this, Nick said this. I'm like, I didn't say that. People have doctored photos of me. People have doctored tweets of me. Like, people are literally, I try not to give attention to it to make it bigger than it has to be. Just let them get their, you know, their little brownie points and dies down. Whatever, it's promotion. People come to my channel all angry and whatever. But at the end of the day, I wish I could address all these lies that come out about me all the time. All the time. And I just don't, because I'm like, if I give it attention, it adds fuel to the fire. Just a, you know, at the end of the day, it's promotion, but still, it really does suck. I mean, Keemstar tweeted about me the other day. He's like, Nick, uh, Nick Akato has, what do you say? He's like, he's given up all sense of uh, <laughs> dignity, <laughs> dignity and self-respect <laughs> for our entertainment pleasure. He is the best YouTuber of 2020. Mm -hmm. he, has he has accepted defeat. He's been stomped on. He's been lied about. He's twisted. And then he'll purposely make people laugh by humiliating himself on purpose. And people take it for granted. They don't see what he's doing. And I really appreciate that. But, you know, because <laughs> I put a lot of work into these shows, you know. Merry Christmas, everyone, and a big thank you to my patrons for supporting these videos, and a huge thank you to my executive producers, Jody and Jamie Baby Cotto. If you'd like to become a producer for Christmas and help support my channels, or if you just want to join the community to see what else I'm posting, come on over to my Patreon by clicking the link down below. You must be age 18 or older. And for something even more personal, gift yourself an eight minute long personalized video just for you. Or or book a video for someone and surprise them this holiday season. It makes a great Christmas present. We can also DM each other and chat one-on-one. -on -one. So if you want to watch even more content from me, come follow my Patreon. But if you want a personalized video or just want to talk, come over to my Cameo. Patreon and Cameo are both linked down below. Thank you so, so much. Merry Christmas. Bye.